Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading uh, for the middle of October uh, 2021. We are going to just jump right in here and we are going to take a look at anything. Uh, we're just going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. We're going to look at anything you don't see coming in this middle row. And then we're going to look at any messages from your guides in your last row. Uh, we're also going to pull three uh, yes or no question cards. If you don't have yes or no question cards, that's fine. I'm going to put all three together, and we're just going to read them as kind of like a general uh, reading. So uh, let's see what is going on for you here. This looks amazing. Pisces doesn't really surprise me. You know, we've we've talked about this a lot in past readings. Middle of the month, you know, on Monday of next week or whatever, uh, the 18th, uh, Jupiter and Mercury go direct on that day. That's going to be pretty huge for you in general. It's going to be, you know, it's going to make things a lot better. <laughs> and then, you know, as we get into the end of the year, next year is going to be just good, good, good times for you, Pisces. You start off here in your ge current general energies with the building blocks card. I feel a lot of you are, it, I think I said this to you in your last reading, I, and I get the same thing here. It's like everything you're doing right now is setting you up for not just next year, but for like the next several years. So that's what I feel like this building blocks uh, situation is kind of talking about here. It's like everything is coming together. I, I truly feel that you have like a true sense as well that like all the work you've been doing all the lessons, all the things that you've had to learn, all the difficulties, all the challenges, it's like all starting to make sense now. Things are coming together. I don't think it's perfect, but you know, I think it's getting there. It's like you're starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups here. Um, definitely hard work row, I would say, here, Pisces. I feel like you're doing a lot of work or have been just working really hard in general. And it's like you could be starting to see some rewards. I, You know, if I'm being honest, I feel like this Nine of Cups is asking you to like not get lazy. <laughs> I feel like it's saying, okay, like, you know, you're doing a good job, but you, you have to make sure to keep the momentum going. And, you know, the Nine of Cups is, you know, it can be a card of like resting on your laurels. He's just like sitting there, you know, to me, it reminds me, you know, the Nine of Cups to me is a good card. It can represent a wish. And I would definitely say, you know, make a wish because you have this Spider Spirit, which is an awesome card in your last row. But I do feel like there is a very strong need for you to kind of make sure that you're not, you know, resting on your laurels, as they say. I feel like you need to make sure that you're kind of continuing to evolve and continuing to do things. You do have the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of mastery. So I feel for some of you, you're kind of like on this path to mastery. I do feel like, it, you know, some of you, whatever you're working on in life, I, like I would continue to master it here with the Eight of Pentacles, you know, and the Eight of Pentacles can represent learning something on a much deeper level. So it kind of says like, if you're doing well in business, but you want to do better, learn deeper, you know, learn more about what you're doing. Same thing with love here with the Eight of Pentacles. If you want to improve your love life, uh, learn more. You have a good mix of everything here though, Pisces. I feel like things are going well. Even with the Three of Pentacles, a uh, really good card, you know, another card that could be tri uh, tied to your last card here, the Spider Spirit. The Spider Spirit says, make your dreams real. And we have this fire triangle at the top of the Three of Pentacles. We also have this water triangle at the bottom, uh, kind of like right below it, right here. Water triangles, you know, kind of represent something that exists, not like out here, and but it's like we need to bring it down here, right? And, and, and I'm going to tell you kind of like the feeling I get here, Pisces. It's like the feeling I get is that things could be going well, but I feel like you could be knocking your own socks off here, Pisces. I feel like there, things could be so much, like you have no idea how much better things in your life can be. I really feel that your readings always ask you to exceed your own expectations. And, and I feel like you really need to do that. It's like, you know, I try to explain to Pisces at like every single reading I do, right? It's like you had Uranus and Taurus, I mean, Uranus and Aries in your second for like eight years, like two years ago, right? It's like literally the worst place um, as far as I'm concerned. Not only the worst place, but maybe the worst sign <laughs> that Uranus could be in, right? And um, so... And that was like a little pain in the pain in Uranus, right? Uh, here, Pisces, over the past several years that you've been dealing with. Um, I think that the reason Pisces has gone through what they've gone through over the past like eight years, 10 years, something like that, is because it's like, Pisces, you are being set up to be an example for other people. This is why your readings always ask you to exceed your own expectations, to do more than you thought possible. So that's what I would be doing if I were you. I'd be like really pushing yourself 
And again, it's like things could be going very well for some of you and some of you maybe not, right? But it, you know, all of us are experience different limitations and things like that. But what I would say here is I would try to push past any limitations you are experiencing or do more. It's like sometimes I think if we're like trying to make money and then we start making money or if we try to find love and then we get love, it's like we don't try to improve it beyond that point. And I feel like that's what this is saying. Yeah, look, you have the chariot here as well. Definitely a victory coming in for you. He's leaving this city. He is leaving what he has always known behind him. He is kind of allowing the universe to guide him. He really has to assert his will. You know, he has to use his willpower to be successful. He really has to push it. But, you know, there is definitely a lot of success coming for you. This is a good reading. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Two of Wands here. Again, this perfectly describes the feeling that I'm getting from your reading here, Pisces. He is standing at the top of a castle. You can see here these like pillars. It's like, you know, the castle pattern, <laughs> the, the top of a castle. He's standing at the top of a castle. It's kind of like, you know, castles represent safety, security, comfort, and protection. But he's like standing at the top of that castle and he's like perfectly protected. It's like he's in a good position. He's in a freaking castle, but it's like there's like way more out in the world that he could be experiencing. So really, your reading is asking you to kind of like get out into the world and have more amazing experiences. Uh, this could be, you know, starting a business. It could be traveling. It could be going on an adventure in your mind. It could be doing anything. It doesn't matter. It's going to be different for all of you. But again, I would just do, I would like pick one thing because Eight of Pentacles, right? Eight of Pentacles just says pick one thing. Don't overwhelm yourself, right? And maybe you want to start a YouTube channel do it and master it. Become the best. Don't, and try to become the best. Don't just uh, dabble, right? I feel like this first row is saying, you, it's like you have the building blocks, you have everything you need to be very successful at something. So do it so you can inspire other people. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Damn, Pisces, this is probably one of the better readings I've done for you in a while. Your readings have been good, but you know, to me, this is very, very positive. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance, a lot of good things coming in for you with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're setting yourself up for the future. I feel like you need to realize, you know, this is a reason I also feel like you need to let go of your past fears here, Pisces. I feel like you could be having a lot of past fears coming up. I've talked to you about this before, where it's like, maybe you're like, oh, I'm afraid to start a business because when I did it in the past, um, you know, it would fail and I would lose all my money. And, you know, it's like all these like things are like rushing into my head. And I feel like this is saying, don't, like, those things are no longer going to happen. You're in a much better place. Not only that, it's like the things that you're building up right now, the things that you're doing, I feel are going to be permanent in your life. These things that you are creating are going to last for a very long time. Could include relationships. You have the lovers right here. But I feel like you need to kind of like let go of those past worries because I feel like the past, like, worries and concerns those are the things that are kind of preventing you from uh, pushing past your limitations, right? Is is the past worries. Like, what if this happens? What if that happens? Um, you know, and I, I would get rid of all those what ifs. And again, I think that's Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus, I mean, Uranus and Aries. Uranus and Aries, too much chaos. And, you know, even though it was in your second house of earned income and, you know, uh, material goods and things like that, it definitely could have affected other areas of your life. You know, so some of you could have like abandonment issues in relationships, for example, or uh, it could be anything. And so I feel like you need to like push past those limitations. Uh, in the area of what you don't see coming, you have this purification card. I do feel some of you are just going through kind of like a purification type energy. You even have the Six of Swords here which is like moving on to calmer shores. So I feel like what you don't see coming is that you're kind of like completing some sort of rite of passage. And we kind of talked about that here in this first row where again, I feel like you don't maybe realize how you know, how much power you have inside of you, Pisces. I feel like you don't realize like all the things that you're capable of accomplishing. Um, but there could be like certain things that are happening that are like opening up your eyes to what you're capable of. And I would pay attention to that uh, with these cards. You have the Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Magician showing up in this first row. I feel like there's some sort of new beginning coming in for you here. I feel like you need to use your powers of manifestation to manifest what you desire. Uh, the Magician and the Three of Pentacles are very similar to me, Pisces, because like the Magician is as above, so below. He creates his own reality. So I really feel you have a very strong, you know, you have like a very good opportunity, I should say, to create your own reality at this time. But I feel like you really need to, you know, he's got the wand up in the air here, but he's pointing down at the ground. He's like literally saying, manifest this Three of Pentacles thing on earth something that is more than you think you are capable of here because I feel like you are capable of a lot. You have this page of swords here. 
I feel like this could be like haters <laughs> in your life, Pisces. I would ignore the haters is what I would say to you with the Page of Swords. I feel like if you're getting haters, that it, it's probably a good thing. It's actually probably a clue that you're moving in the right direction. So, you know, I would ignore the negative energy with that Page of Swords here. Definitely moving in the right direction. Uh, with that six of swords that pe my, my my piece of paper wanted to come with it the cards here pisces but let's uh clarify this and let's see what's going on for you with the page of swords you have these six of cups some of you could also be dealing with children as well six of cups um two sixes i love two sixes number one but um page of swords six of cups you know you could be dealing with children in a love situation i don't think that's the main message of this reading so whatever is what I would say here. I mean, it could be because you have the Six of Swords, which can represent baggage. Uh, there is a child right here. I'm, if you have children, I'm not calling your child baggage, but you know, I'm just saying, right? There is a child in the boat here. So some of you uh, could be dealing with love in children here in this situation, you know, in this reading here, basically. Uh, for others, um, you know, can represent immature energy. So again, you could, I feel some of you, I get that immature feeling. Uh, for others, it could be a soulmate coming in for you here as well. Now with the Six of Swords, you have the Death card, definitely going through a positive change here. And again, that would make sense with the Purification. The Death card can be a card of purging, you know, is what I would say. So I feel like you could be kind of going through some sort of purification. I feel like there's like just happiness coming off of this Death card as well, actually. The sun is coming up in the background of the Death card. Uh, so I feel like it's kind of like the light in the darkness that you are seeing. Now with the Magician... You have the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, you have everything you need to be very successful at this time, Pisces. I do feel like your environment is going to be very important for you. Again, Nine of Pentacles is my card of needing to make sure that your environment is, you know, is good <laughs> for you. Again, I always talk about like this office that I'm in here. Like I had a setup over here, which I tore down because I don't know, it was making me feel weird, right? And I couldn't do videos and I was like in this weird funk. So once I tore that down, I felt a million times better. So you know, I'm a big believer that our environment can totally affect the things that we're doing, the things that we're creating, and, you know, all this other stuff. So I'd make sure that you're setting yourself up for, like, into an environment of success here with the Nine of Pentacles, pretty much for, you know, anything that you're doing here, even if you're, like, trying to get on a diet. Like, you know, I've been trying to get on a diet, right? So even the other day, I threw away all the stuff that I shouldn't be eating in my house. I don't really have a lot of junk in there, but there are certain things that I shouldn't be eating, right? So I environment of success, don't even have it in your house, right? And the Nine of Pentacles is all about that. It's all about creating that. I've been saying it all year, but I really feel like next year, just anything, you know, anything that could throw you off probably will. <laughs> so uh, what I would say is I would make sure that you're spending as little time as possible around the things that can uh, throw you off. Uh, you know, I would spend as little time as possible around the things that are going to mess with your vibe here because, you know, is it that big of a deal? Probably not. But at the same time, I feel like the, the longer you can stay at a higher vibration, the better, plain and simple. Uh, here in your last row for advice from your guides, you have the spirit, uh, the spider spirit literally says, make your dreams real. I feel like you could be making your wildest dreams come true here, Pisces. So that's what I would be doing if I were you. I would. I do feel there's a need for you to push it past a point where you are. It's kind of weird because, um, you know, the way that I'm seeing your reading is, again, this castle that's on the two of wands. It's almost like some of you could be doing well. Like maybe you have a business, maybe you have a career, a job, a relationship, and things are going well. It's like you're here, but it's like you could be all the way up here. You know, I always tell people, it's like, you know, uh, we, I, I believe we should die on E, right? I feel like we should, um, when we die, we should try to accomplish as much as we can before then, obviously, because it's like then we maybe truly fulfilled our reason for being here, which is creating our own reality. And, um, you know, I feel like if you can do something, you probably should, right? So uh, what I would say here is I feel like some of you, and I, it's kind of funny because, like I said, with this building blocks card, I feel like some of you have even been having the realization. It's like you have realized that that you probably are capable of doing more or you are probably saying to yourself, you know what, I do work hard, but maybe I could push it a little bit harder then I would do it because, you know, I feel like you're just going to blow yourself away here, Pisces, with this energy. And your guides want you to know that as well with the spider spirit. The spider spirit always reminds me of writing as well. So, you know, what I would say here is maybe you don't have to write, but, you know, it could represent the story that you tell. So, you know, I, I talk about it like, a, you know, a year and a half ago or whatever it was, I, where I was stuck on this channel at like 40,000 subs. Um, I just started telling a different story about myself, literally. It, I started writing it down every single day, like scripting, right? And, um, you know, 
call me crazy, but it's like pretty much the only thing I changed. <laughs> so uh, I just started writing out literally um, what I wanted. It's literally that simple. And, um, you know, I would do the same thing here, Pisces, because I feel like you have the opportunity to really kind of change your life. You have the lovers, the ace of swords and the page of pentacles here. Um, I feel like this could be new love for sure. There's some sort of message coming in for you in love. It's kind of funny. I'm seeing this as a choice in love here with the ace of swords. The ace of swords, it's like they're these, you know, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. The ace of swords can represent some sort of sacrifice you're making as well. There's a palm frond on one side here, and there's an olive branch on the other side here, Pisces. The olive branch can represent peace, and but it can also represent abundance. The palm frond can represent sacrifice and tarot. The palm frond also represents like something that survives for a very long time. Like, you know, palms grow in the desert. They're capable of surviving during the hardest times, right? Um, during a drought. So I feel for a lot of you, this could be you having a choice to make in love. Something is like divinely guided. I feel like your guides want you to know that you are being guided towards something with the lover's card here. Uh, the lover's doesn't have to be love, could just be a choice. I always say the lover's is kind of my card of being at a crossroads just in general in your life, having a choice to make, but I feel like you're being pushed towards something new. So let's dig into this and Let's see, with the lovers, you have the magician, definitely a new beginning. You have the magician coming in twice here. I mean, really, this reading is just saying you can have whatever you want um, <laughs> because, you know, that's what it's saying. Uh, with the ace of swords, you have the three of pentacles again here. Uh, you know, when these cards repeat themselves, it's basically the universe just saying I meant what I said. And with the page of pentacles, you have the wheel of fortune. Damn, Pisces, this is a good reading. Uh, I like this a lot. Definitely changing your fortunes. Again, it makes perfect sense. It lines up very well with your astrology. Um, you know, that things would be kind of like improving and changing in a lot of ways. Uh, the the uh, magician, he's pointing towards here. I always pull the card that the magician is pointing towards. And I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Here you go. <laughs> you have the starfish. It says open to infinite possibility. Pisces, I feel like you don't even realize like the possibilities that are available to you. And and I feel like the only way that you can realize them is if you can, um, if you go out and do it, you know, what whatever it is that you want to do. It's like, I think things will happen to you it's kind of like, like I said, I get this feeling of you not being, like, I don't know if I should call it a surprise that's coming for you or if it's just that you're kind of exceeding your own expectations, surprising yourself. Like like I said earlier, it's like you're knocking your own socks off here by doing something that you never thought was possible. Sometimes I think that's the only thing we need in life is like we just need something to surprise us about ourselves. And then we're like, what else, what else can I do? And, and you know, I, I feel like it kind of gives us that, you know, motivation, that inspiration to go out and do more. And that's what I feel like is happening for you you know over the next year and a half or so and um, then after that it's like once you do that then you know the sky's the limit basically for you here Pisces so a lot of good stuff coming up here for you I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you as well definitely love I would say for some of you uh, definitely new love could be a cancer or an earth sign could be a Scorpio as well you have Scorpio right here could be any sign just a general reading but it definitely could be love coming in for you. Uh, I feel like this last row here is like your guides are clearly clearly saying you need to manifest something on earth, like three of pentacles, the water triangle that we were talking about, the uh, magician manifesting. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Like I said, it's like literally your guides are asking you to take something that's a dream and bring it down to earth. They're asking you to kind of like do something. Just do it. But uh, that's that Pisces amazing reading. Uh, we're going to pull three yes or no question cards now. And feel free to pause this reading if you need time to think. One, two, and three. Uh, feel free to pause. If you don't have questions, that's fine as well. I'm just going to you know, put them all together at the end. For question number one, uh, you have the Ace of Cups. I would say yes, definitely, clearly. Um, I feel really good about this, actually. I feel good about the whole reading, but uh, I feel really good about this. For question number two, you have the Knight of Cups. Yes, definitely. This, I already, I already know this is probably like a love card, right? Um, definitely love coming in for you. Uh, I would say yes, this is like a knight in shining armor. And for question number three, uh, well, no. <laughs> you have the five of cups here. Of course, it's got to ruin everything, right, Pisces? I would say no on the last card here. Um, clearly, putting this all together, like literally, look at how this is set up. He's got the two cups here to the knight of cups, which goes to the ace of cups if we take it in this direction. You get what I'm saying here, Pisces? So I feel like for some of you, you clearly need to turn around. There's like some sort of blessing coming 
coming in for you here, Ace of Cups, right? Some sort of gift from the universe, a blessing, something that's going to cause your emotions to overflow. You're going to be very happy, but I feel like you have to see it. So for a lot of you, I feel like this is saying, turn around. There are some good things coming in for you. So how do we do that with the Five of Cups? Well, number one, you know, the Five of Cups is about being grateful for the things that you do have. So, you know, I would just be grateful for the, the things that you do have in your life. When you start being grateful, then you start attracting more things to be grateful for. It's just that simple. Uh, the other thing is, and trust me, you know, Pisces, I used to, like, you used to drive me nuts, like, Years ago, I was in a, like a bad place and I used to like watch motivational videos and everything like that. Everybody was like, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful. But you know what? I was never great, grateful. <laughs> and, and it wasn't until I was that things changed. So I know it's annoying to hear, but I would definitely do it. Uh, the other thing with the Five of Cups is it can definitely represent needing to avoid things that aren't good for you. He's crying over spilt wine on this card and it kind of like he has lost his taste for wine, but it can say, you know, it can be a card of like overindulgence. So it, it like having too much of something. So this card says like, no overconsumption. I would make sure you're doing things in balance. Definitely popping into my head here, Pisces. I would do everything in balance with the Five of Cups, though. Like I can say, maybe you're watching too much Netflix and not and, and not working enough on your project or whatever you're trying to manifest here. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't watch Netflix, right? Um, you know, I feel like as long as we're doing things in balance, um, then we should be able to reward ourselves. I don't think life is about, you know, life is suffering. So I don't think we should create more suffering, right? What we should do is we should be uh, kind of like creating a life that we want to live. And that's what I feel like this reading is really asking you to do. So uh, damn, Pisces, amazing reading. Definitely could be a new love coming in for you or a knight in shining armor coming in for you, whatever whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like this. So uh, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, definitely enjoy your month.